weather. Yeah, training's been alright. I mean, we didn't have we didn't have many days of training. We trained twice, and this morning, and now we fly out for the game tomorrow night. But I think it's been okay. Um, we've been training a bit earlier, so when it's usually hot, we train um, maybe like an hour earlier. But yeah, it's been it's been fine. It's going to be a scorcher in Western Sydney tomorrow, 40 degrees. Are you looking forward to that? Yeah, well, hopefully it cools down a bit in the, uh, during the evening. But um, yeah, it should be a, should be a fun and sweaty game. Does it affect your game style much? Um, not really. I mean, the preparation is always the same. We always try and hydrate, hyd keep ourselves hydrated as much as we can. But I mean, on a 40 degree day, it would obviously be harder. But it's the same for both teams, and yeah, we'll just look to to. To keep hydrated, I guess. <laughs> Nico, do you feel like you're a better team than some of the results you've had, like the one last week? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we know we're a good team, and we all have confidence in each other. And to get a result like that is a bit disappointing, but we'll look to build on it this week and and in the future as well. When you come up against a team like Sydney and you do so well, they're one of the probably two best teams in the A League at the moment. Do you come away from that even though you lost, going? we're probably able to compete in this league like right at the back end of the season? Um, I mean, we always know we can compete with the teams at the top, but I wouldn't say have, I mean, a win is always a win and we always go yeah. for the win, but I wouldn't say that we'll come away happy with the result, so. No, but you come away <laughs> feeling like you're, you're not far off the mark, I mean. Uh, yeah, I mean, we, we know we're not far off the mark. We've beaten these teams before, so yeah, we're just, I think we're missing that confidence and building and winning these games more often off more often than not will, will give us that confidence and I guess yeah. At what, point in, at what point in the season do you start going um, looking at the ladder and going you know there's not too many rounds to go and going well we need to sort of start stringing a little, couple of results together to get to where we want to be for the finals. Well, I'm not exactly sure. I mean we look at the game we look at the weeks game by game and we don't we don't focus too much on the ladder. I mean, in the back of our minds we do have a rough idea of where we're sitting and what would happen if we win or I'm sure unforeseen circumstances lose but I mean yeah we just take game by game and hope, hopefully we get the three just points. Just on that game what are you expecting against Western Sydney obviously winless in their last six and they blew a big lead in Perth so what are you expecting against them? I mean we know Western Sydney are a good team and we we've looked at their strengths and weaknesses and same with us as well so we focused on what we could do better from last week and how we can expose Western Sydney so I mean it'll be a nice I think it'll be a good game end to end and obviously it'll be very hot so yeah I think it should be a good matchup. You personally, how are you seeing your form of late? Uh, yeah, personally I think it's been very good for myself. I mean, come off a long term injury and I've came back and I've you know, found the back of the net a few times so that's always good to, to score but I still have a lot of work to do and, and to try and keep my games consistent and especially with my fitness as well, try and stay injury free and hopefully I can do that towards the end of the season. And physically, do you feel like you're 100% at the moment? Yeah, yeah, I feel like I'm 100%, yes. And because speaking of injuries, I mean, the team has been pretty hard hit by injuries this season. Do you think that's disrupted the momentum and, and maybe been another reason why that consistency has been hard to find? Well, when you have a good squad, uh, sorry, when you have a full squad, I, I think it's always, always good for the team and it gives a good headache for the coach in terms of choices for positions and as well it does push players in the similar positions the more players you have in those positions the harder it is to cement your spot in the in the starting 11 and as well on the bench but I wouldn't say it's disrupt, um, disrupted our momentum because you know the players that we have coming in are all doing well and we have full confidence in them and it's been good I think this season as well so. And speaking of injuries I think Mirko Boland back in the, the squad uh, this week how much of a boost is he potentially for you guys? Yeah for sure Mirko's been out for a while now and to have someone like him in the squad is always good and um, I'm looking forward to seeing him, see him getting back to full fitness as well. So.